Now, going over to the business blunder of the day, you have United Healthcare hacked to exceed $1.2 billion, which is quite a pretty penny to say the least. Well, I should also clarify a vintage pretty penny since modern pennies are just 99.99% zinc, also known as trash, and they're simply copper plated, which perhaps is a sad metaphor for US currency and the monetary system in general, where it used to be made out of you know precious metals like copper, or silver, or what have you. Now, this is coming to us thanks to Rivia Gold, Gold over at LinkedIn News. And she says, quote, United Health Group said that its recent cyber attack will cost between $1.35 billion and $1.6 billion this year. The February attack compromised the ability of physicians and medical care providers to get insurance approval for services across the U.S. tied to change healthcare's billing and payment systems. Continues to say, quote, about 80% of physicians are reporting, quote, lost revenue from unpaid claims from the attack. According to a recent survey, United Healthcare Group reported 1.4 billion quarterly loss, in part driven by the sale of its Brazilian business, but it saw a revenue rise of 99.8 billion, up from 91.9 billion last year. Which, granted, I'm biased. I work in, I own a cybersecurity entity, so obviously I think you should bolster your cybersecurity at all times. But for this cost to keep racking up more and more, and it's even hurting mom and pop shops. I have a couple of local, you know, independent operators when it comes to, you know, dental and physical uh, physicians where, you know, they're independent, they're not part of a big hospital or organization, but they still use this infrastructure for some of, the, some of their billing. And there are having instances where they're not getting paid. So this is horrifying if you're a small business owner in that industry. It's not just the big hospitals that utilize these types of technologies as, as this type of company. And this ripple effect is hurting the whole industry, which is not a good reason to, you know, just, in my opinion, for certain things like dental, there's no reason to get insurance, just, you know, pay cash and everyone's a little bit happier usually. But to not properly protect the company and have such a huge, I mean, we're talking a billion dollars. I don't know if they just need to hire better offensive cybersecurity, you know, teams to test their environment, they need to bolster the type of cybersecurity solutions they use. But again, having that hack cost over $1 billion, I gotta say, that is certainly the business blunder of the day. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.